The amber type was a form of photography that in some ways superseded the daguerreotype in the 1850s. Like the daguerreotype, it was basically a portrait medium, but it was cheaper and quicker. This process was invented in the 1850s in England by a sculptor named Frederick Scott Archer, and the term ambrotype was coined by an American photographer named Root from the word ambrotus, which means imperishable. Now, fortunately, the ambrotype surface is not as delicate as a daguerreotype surface, but it is on glass. The photograph is on glass, so it is not imperishable because if you drop it, it will break. As compared to the $5 that the daguerreotype cost, an ambrotype could cost anywhere from 25 to 50 cents. The ambrotype depends on its black backing to make it appear positive. Without the black backing, it appears as a negative, a weak negative, but a negative, and you can see right through it. With the black backing, it appears as an image. There were all sorts of black backings in use to make the negative image appear positive. Uh, the back of the glass was often painted. You could use uh, a piece of blackened metal, a piece of black velvet, and you can frequently tell an ambrotype by the fact that the backing is beginning to flake.